Hey everybody, Royce from Hill Country CNC and Woodworking, and I'm just gonna take a minute uh, to explain how to import a tool database to Vetric. Uh, pretty much works for all their programs. And then how to make a favorites uh, file so you don't have to search for your favorite tool every single time. All right, let's hop into the database download. So I just went to Google, uh, looked up tools today, go to the official site, and you'll see Spectre Bits. It's just my choice. Uh, pick a bit. It really doesn't matter which one. And scroll on down. Watch your computer do some weird thing. And you'll see this right here. Uh, Vetric Passion About CNC. Autodesk Fusion 360. And then click on that little tab there. Obviously you can choose right here. But you want to go down to the uh, Master Vectric file. Click on that, you'll download it. And then this is just your bit list. Uh, there's really no reason to have it in my opinion. Uh, it just gives you the basic list of bits that are covered. Okay, from here I made a file uh, and moved my download to that file just for easy access. Opened up Aspire. This works on VCAR Pro, whatever. Find your display tool database and then just, that's an old bit of mine. Come down here to import a tool database. Click on it. Find your file. Click on it. Click on the Vectric file. And there you go. You've just imported um, the Amana Tool Master. I'll tell you, you don't have to use Amana Tools uh, to use this. All of these are pretty accurate. So if you match the bit that you're using to the Amana bit, the feeds and speeds, they're all really pretty accurate. And you can see, I'm just going through and showing you that um, you can now use this stuff. It's, it's there. You don't have to take any other special processes. All right, now I'm gonna move on to making a favorites folder. Uh, I find with this gigantic list of bits, uh, it is sometimes hard to find what you're looking for. So you just come down here and you click the new group and then move that new group off of the Amana tool list and then rename it whatever you want. Mine is favoritos, which I don't think is actually a word. And click apply. And you'll see I'm showing you two, two different ways to get to the tool database. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and put some bits in there. Uh, on the ball nose bit, I always use this 46376K. I use it all the time. So I'm going to take that bit, and this is one of the frustrating things. Um, getting it into the other folder uh, usually takes a few tries. So there's the folder. It's not in there. So we'll go back and grab it again and just drag it up there, and boom, didn't go in the folder again. So now drag it into the folder, drag it into the folder. Yeah, Vectric, I love you, but uh, sometimes this one part is kind of difficult. There should be a favorite button, to be honest. And I have written Vectric about this. Um, this is the way to do it right now. Hopefully they'll come up with something. But now when you go back to your Amana list, you'll see that that bit is gone. It is no longer there. There's the 46376, but not the K. So now we need to copy. We'll copy that bit and you'll see that the bit is shaded. It's not fully colored. And just bring it back down to your list and you'll see 
Yeah, I put it exactly back where it went. Um, you'll see that it's got different information in it. So go to favorites and check your data to make sure that it's what you want. So you just go through and check it and then go down to your copy and make sure that it, uh, come on, that it's the copy from what you want. Now, I didn't notice it when I was filming this, but if you look, that's 46374. So that's actually the wrong copy, but I'll fix it here in just a second. I caught it later. So now I'm just gonna go in and give you another example. I'm gonna do my 46202K, pretty much my favorite bit. Scroll all the way up. And again, the flaw in the programming, oop, didn't work. So we're gonna try that again. And I guess maybe just hovering for a second, hover, uh, makes it stick. I'll try that more now, but uh, I've always just had to do it more than once. It just seems like I have to do it more than once. We're gonna go down here and copy, and then we're gonna take the copy and put it back, but um, it closed out my wood bits. So I'm gonna take it down to wood eventually and set it there and it'll sit right on top of the file open up wood open up quarter inch and then i'm gonna drag that copy back down to where i want it somebody out there is saying wow you're going to way more effort to streamline things than i should but uh to me, it's what makes sense. And I'm sure there's other people out there. Now look at the copy settings form. It brought up 46094. So all you need to do is go down there and pick what you're copying it from, which is that same bit. Click apply and then okay. Went back into the tool database because at that point uh, I actually realized that the 46376 was wrong. So I went down to my copy and uh, shifted that one as well. Real simple. This is also another way that you could have the same bit programmed for two different types of cutting, like changing the step over or something like that. You just have to rename it. So something to think about there. So I'm just gonna go back in one more time and show you the whole process. I'm gonna go in and find my upcut bit. It's 46102K. I'm gonna drag it up there and I'm gonna hover and it's still not gonna work. So I'm gonna do it again. Hopefully at some point Vectric will see that this is a struggle and, and fix it. I definitely uh, love Vectric and vcarve pro and aspire it is by far the best programs i've used and i've used a lot of them uh, so don't take me as knocking their program because they're phenomenal so wrapping this up i'm just gonna go take it and put it back where it's supposed to be then i'm gonna check the copy settings from and make sure that that's the right bit which you can see it's not and that's it I hope you like my little informational video. Um, to me, I try to keep things really simple. So like and subscribe, and I'll continue to give you little tips about CNC programs and woodworking. Thanks.